I think, um, you know, we need to separate the different tracks. Um, I think that, you know, uh, the announcement that the president made on Friday, as you said, of the G at the G7, uh, that the EU would double its contribution for COVAX to 1 billion uh, euro is, 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 is a significant uh, uh, show of solidarity and, and a very uh, strong um, signal of our support to COVAX, which uh, we maintain that is uh, the best vehicle to ensure on uh, vaccines international solidarity and this is why we are still today the biggest supporter of COVAX. All of Team Europe all together has mobilized over 2.2 uh, billion euro in order to help us and bring us closer to the collective objective of COVAX uh, to be able to deliver 1.3 billion doses uh, for uh, the low and middle income countries. Um, in parallel, you know that we are, uh, as the Commission, working uh, with the Member States to set up an EU sharing vaccines mechanism uh, that will allow, of course, our Member States uh, to be able to share some of the doses uh, that have been uh, procured in the framework of the uh, advanced purchase agreements that were concluded by the Commission uh, on behalf of the Member States. Um, all the details are still being discussed, um, so we are not really in a position to comment on how exactly this will be done. I think that certain principles are clear. Uh, I think that the preferred option uh, will be COVAX, of course, because we are uh, strongly supporting COVAX. But of course, uh, the advanced purchase agreements give the member states the possibility to share and to redirect some of the doses with partner countries. So this is clearly in their hands. Um, and um, in the communication that we put forth already some weeks ago, um, we mentioned um, that um, we were uh, uh, would pay a particular attention to the Western Balkans, of course, but also to our neighborhood and also our partners in Africa. And we're first and foremost thinking, of course, of you know the priority groups that, that need to get vaccinated. So uh, the, these are the first priorities that we are concentrating on. And then in terms of uh, your questions on non-papers or non-papers, I mean, these are internal discussions between the member states, and I don't think we would comment further. And uh, maybe just a general comment uh, in terms of the visibility. I think that this is not about, you know, claiming on who does what. Absolutely not. But I think that, um, you know, when, when, when somebody gives a lending hand, um, I think it's important also just for people to know, you know, what the EU taxpayers are doing and the solidarity that the Europeans will bring to countries to help partner countries, I think is also, you know, something that's important that everybody uh, knows also for our own taxpayers' money, you know, for them to show what the EU is doing. And I think that we cannot forget that, you know, in this crisis, uh, we're all in this together. I mean, we will not get out of this unless we're all safe. And this is why, uh, again, first and foremost, the EU has always supported an international approach. Uh, and uh, we are very much supporting uh, COVAX in all of this. Thank you, Anna. Vince, you have a follow up. Thank you. Yes, just a very quick follow-up. I'm sorry if I've misunderstood, but just very simply, is it, based on what you just said, does that mean that you're prioritising the neighbourhood over COVAX or there's a way to combine the two? Anna. I, sorry, I don't know. My camera went off. Um, on, Vince, I... all these things are... All these things are being discussed. One thing and the other are not contradictory and they're not, they're not, I mean, there, there are several possibilities and we are discussing with the member states how best to go about this. So one thing is not excluding the other. I mean, again, member states can uh, uh, redirect doses for partner countries. Many of these partner countries are in different regions and it can be done through COVAX or on bilateral. And we're just thinking how to best organize this together and really, do it as a Team Europe approach because it's the way that we're going to be able to have a bigger critical mass and bigger impact on the ground. So we're also discussing with COVAX, we're also discussing with the producers that have to also agree to this re redirection of the doses and we're discussing with our member states and with other partners in order to make sure that we can do this in the best um, way possible that's, that's, that's more efficient and that's more streamlined. Thank you, Anna. Uh, 